You're definitely being very hyper vocal. You two are just frozen in place. At least you two are exploring. That's concrete. What in the world could you be doing? Well, right now I've decided to go ahead and repurpose something. Um, this garden section bed right here is actually a pretty good size and length. And I am going to be converting this into a chicken coop. Let's see how it's gonna be. So it's essentially 36 by 36 by 36. And it's got the uh, bed boxes and everything right here. So let's keep this going. Well, as you can see, the uh, coop is coming along pretty darn good. I'm really happy with the way these um, slats are coming in. And I'm going to be framing everything off, adding in some filler to mitigate all those gaps and everything in it. But it's doing pretty good. Using a lot of reclaimed lumber in this, so the out-of-pocket expense is actually pretty minimal. Um, Got to get the uh, rest of these slats in and get the roof going and then we will start wiring everything up so everything's working pretty darn good and i'm happy with the way this is starting to come out a little bit of an update as you can see i've got a lot of the panels milled out so i actually have giant wood slabs of this blue pine right here that i've used for quite a while a buddy of mine gave them to me and i will every once in a while if i need some good wood for something i'll uh plan it out or I should say mill it out, plane it down, um, and make some pretty good slats out of them. Uh, this one is starting, I, I didn't want to use this for any kind of like furniture grade or anything because you can see there's a lot of cracks and everything in it, but for a chicken coop, it works out great. So just getting the rest of the siding put together on here, and then I'll give it a good sanding. The side's not sanded just yet, but you can see on this side, I've done some sanding on it, so it's definitely gonna make a major improvement to it. But just plugging along, you know. It's going to be a great little addition to our property and this will definitely give us um, a little bit of an easy move because now we don't have to worry about the uh, chickens so let's keep plugging at this let's see if we get a little bit of a backwards look so all right let's keep going i think i'm about here i'm about ready to call it a night uh, as you can see i got the front doors and everything all set up still got some trim here to trim off but there you go. Got a nice little western style double door. Got the two bedding boxes put in. Let's see. And then got quite a bit of the sanding of the boxes and everything done. Essentially, this is just going to be a temporary. Uh, solution while we're still at this property and then I'll have the wire and everything in place and the roof is going to go all the way across so it's coming along good I'm actually really enjoying it um, definitely going to have a lot of the trim and everything done so right now let's see snap it into place and I'll still have the upper trims on both sides and trim off these little edges here uh, put the roof in on here on hinges so that we were able to collect the eggs but yeah she's coming along pretty darn good uh, one of the worst things about me when i'm in a project i am an ocd hurricane very um anal you could say about how i'm doing things but then again i am absolutely a catastrophe while i'm doing them but Going through it, uh, getting a lot of it done. Uh, this side right here is completed. Got a nice little 
and just still have all the trimming and everything to do. Front doors are looking pretty good. And I'm really enjoying the fact that I'm just able to build again like I used to. Um, my whole thought really is going to be the roof is going to be at an angle and it's going to be able to stretch out all the way across here. Uh, and it's going to give me the ability to expand on these, what is beds right now. But before I put the fencing and everything in, all this dirt's going to come out and I'm going to lay down some wood chip down so that way the birds can mosey around in there. Um, yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Still have a lot of trimming to do so that way I can cover up a lot of things like the difference between these two planks right here. But I'm really enjoying this, you guys. You know, looking forward to a lot of these endless possibilities in this new property. And going into the uh, buying a home process in 2023 has been kind of a nightmare. To tell you the truth, there's been a lot of ups and downs in this process. The first house we bid it on, um, we got the bid and everything, and we paid $600 for a contractor to go out there and do a full inspection on the house just to realize that the house was fully crumbling from within. So, I mean, it was great that I spent that kind of money and then get into a $350,000 broken home. But it was also one of those, well, hey, I just dropped $600. Um, out of it but then the whole home buying process right now is just insane you know it's just i don't know i've never done it before so this is definitely a pretty good experience for me but um this is going to be a lot of fun because you're going to be able to follow along with me on this journey um, from start to end and i have a lot of plans on what i'm going to do with the property and I just hope you guys tune in and join me in this venture that we're doing. Um, this is going to be this is going to be amazing, and it's going to give me everything I've always wanted to do with this acreage. So, stay tuned for the conclusion of this chicken coop. I love you. God bless you. You have a good day.